Well, it came in. Uh, delivery from True Tech Tools, as usual. And uh, this is the new 557S. And uh, I didn't buy the older version. And I did not buy the version that doesn't have the screen where it's only like this wireless part right here. And you only buy this. Um, since I have all the whole entire kit of Testo, I even have redundant of two or three different things. Um, actually, I didn't know and I didn't read that this one came with the micron meter in it. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I ordered uh, the micron meter, the 552i, but the kit I got had the 552i. Well, now I have redundant backup. I always like redundant backup everything. Now I don't have to order one because I have it. Um, and a good way to ch test one against the other. You have one you don't use, and if you get oil contamination in one, you can immediately turn on and open up the other one, and you know it's clean and brand new. Uh, I'll check them both back to back to each other. And I think what I'll do is I'll I'll hook up the vacuum pump before I even take this out to use it, like I always do. I uh, don't take it out on the field. I bench test it first and prove that it doesn't leak. It doesn't leak under pressure. It doesn't leak under vacuum. And what I'll do is I'll take the vacuum sensors and I'll hook the vacuum sensors up to each. I'll get the AccuTools vacuum and I'll hook it up to one. Then I'll hit the Testo vacuum. I'll hook it up to the other ports. And then I'll draw a vacuum on it and I'll put it under a deep vacuum. I'll turn off the vacuum and see if the manifold itself can hold a deep vacuum. And then I'll pressurize the system up to say 550 PSI uh, or 600, whatever its maximum is, or close to its maximum. So the systems that I commission, uh, the large L uh, systems, are anywhere from 550 to 650 PSI for high pressure nitrogen decay tests for 24 hours. And so I will actually pressurize the manifold to whatever the maximum is to one of my systems unless it exceeds what this can do and I'll keep it on 24 hours just as if I was going to have it hooked up to one of my large VRF systems that I was commissioning and if it passes the test it gets a thumbs up if it doesn't let's see if it's uh, just the o-rings and they fail and I'll do what I always do and improve them a little bit and I might be able to make this one uh, if it does fail any tests let's see if I can uh, fix it in house without having to send it back and um, give it a good thumbs up and see if it's ready to go out in the field and be used uh, the app I immediately downloaded so here you go I came to the app and as soon as you turn on the system on the second screen you you choose English as your language you hit go or you hit menu scroll down English for me and I hit menu and then the next one comes up came with a QR code on it Let's see if there's a QR code on here no QR code. a QR code came up I scanned the QR code with my phone and immediately it took me to the Testo app I didn't have to search started downloading then it asked me do I want to hook up to the Wi-Fi in my house the network in my house and I said yes and it started downloading it started downloading the uh, refrigerant apps and so i'm going to guess that it updated all the refrigerants that are in my country that's just a guess and it started downloading and logging all the refrigerants so i'll have however many refrigerants are probably in my country and um and the most update updated unit over the internet before I even got to use it it did it all auto automatically Testo has come a long way it looks like it looks like Testo has heard some little gripes and complaints about former customers and uh, possibly up their game here and are striving to compete against field piece who just obliterated and taken the market over because they up their game so competition is a good thing maybe we have a much better tool now because of competition so we will find this out when i take it out and use it and uh get familiar with their their app and we'll go from there so that's uh today's little goodie that came in the came in the mail from hey who do we have true tech tools as usual 
and True Tech Tools has always been delivering and taking care of uh, uh, deliveries better than any other any other place that I've ever dealt with. Uh, they've been problem free, and when I had the one defective item that I found up faster than I could call back and find out, uh, I already got a uh, a new unit came in the mail and was delivered to my house. So so far, uh, out of all my internet sales, True Tech Tools has uh, been on the ball. All right, guys, see you later. The new Testo. We'll see how it does. Uh, many guys, like I've said in a video before, have asked me, what is a cheaper version than the Testo 570? And um, I've been asked about the 5 series, especially the 550 is just three ports, one, two, three, without the big port. I always like four ports and using the fourth port. Uh, so that's the only option here is the fourth port. So you can easily go and use the 550 if you want to drop off a few dollars off the cost and you didn't want to pop for the 570 but you were thinking about these. Let me test this, use it for a few months and then I'll give you my opinion after using it for every day for a few months and that's the only time you're allowed to give an opinion. When you use something every day for a few months, not the first day you get out of the box use it in one situation and then give it a thumbs up. That's not how it works. And uh, at least that's not how it works with me. It works after I abuse it and I use it. And uh, then I make a decision. All right, everybody. See you on the next ones.